Hey there, my name is Kelly Dale with Off The Beaded Path and this is your Must Know Monday for Monday, June 24th, 2019. I hope you're having a great day so far. Today, I want to show you a brand new book that has came in and I also want to show you a really neat thing that I purchased on Etsy. So, for those of you who have a Cricut cutting machine or any, like a silhouette cutting machine, any kind of cutting machine, um, I went on to Etsy and I found a lady named Tara Reed Designs who has a SVG file for beading. So she has, I think it's 12 different beading things that you can, or files that you can get for four bucks on Etsy. And they're really, really cute. So one of them is actually what I have on here, this Live Love Bead. Another one that she has, um, and they actually did samples for me. I didn't want to do it just on vinyl on my shirt because I wanted them to look really nice so that I could wear them um, for a good long while. So um, I did this one, the Live Love Bead. So they sent me, you know, a little sample of what it would look like at the place that did them for me. And the other one I did was this one. It says, so many beads, so little time. So I actually had this put on like a burgundy polo shirt so I could wear it, but she has some really super cute ones so let me see here if I can kind of show you there so she has some really really neat ones uh, one if beating is wrong I don't want to be right follow your heart it knows the way to the bead store uh, send me to the bead store and don't let me come home until I change my attitude so just really cute SVG files for the machines so we're going to link to below for Tara Reed. So right here is her little logo there on Etsy. But the files are really inexpensive and you can do a whole lot with them. So that was the first thing that I wanted to tell you about for those of you who love to bead and want to have, you know, put these on different parts of clothing or bags or whatever. The next thing I want to talk to you about is a brand new book out by Virginia Jensen called Two Whole Bead Stitching. So I kind of wanted to give you a preview of the book just because there's a lot of times that you would love to have the book in hand to kind of see what's in the book before you kind of take off and decide to purchase the book. So this one is a really, really nice book. I've looked through it. It has about 25 new designs. Um, the book is broken up into sections. So that kind of makes it really, really nice like earrings, necklaces bracelets whatever but the whole book uses all sorts of two hole beads now for those of you who are sick of two hole beads believe me I get it but I don't see them going anywhere anytime soon um, this one she does a good job of using a mixture of your seed beads with the two hole beads so I just kind of wanted to give you a preview of the book I've personally looked at it I really really like the book there are some things that I'm gonna try to change in some of the designs like the Zoli duos I don't use Zolis, so I'm going to try to use the Paisleys and vice versa. So um, let's go ahead and look at the book so you'll get a good idea of what projects are in it before you possibly buy it. Okay, so let's go through and let me show you here some of the new projects. So as always, we start out with some good basic techniques and explanations about the different beads that she will use in the book. The first section in the book is called stringing and basically this is just straight stringing projects not necessarily with beading wire but with um, your fire line your power pro whatever so wave and Ava uses three hole Ava beads and three hole beams then you've got running river that uses mainly your two hole bricks buds and studs this one uses eight millimeter two hole pyramid beads and super duos dots and dashes and i really really like this one this one uses super duo beads as well as 15 millimeter two hole bar beads and i just think it's such a really pretty design and i can only imagine what it would look like with all sorts of different colors um, we've got this one here that uses Zolis, uh, left and right Zolis, as well as Super Duos and the two-hole dagger beads. 
So section two is all about earrings. Um, I like this one because it uses a lot of other projects from the book and just makes earrings out of those. So Magic Circle uses uh, tiles and bricks. Lady Harp uses a three hole snake trio bead and two hole calves. Dots and dashes, so this is gonna match the dots and dashes necklace that was in the previous section of the book. Uh, snaky Curves is again a three hole snake trio bead, so that's gonna be these little S shapes here. And your two hole calves. Silky Diamonds uses silkies, uh, mini silkies and three hole beams. Zoli Lotus, again, is going to use Zoli Duos. Uh, you'll need your left and right and some Super Duos. Elegant Drops. Egyptian Flare. This one uses the two-hole tango bead, so that's these beads here in the corner. Sweet Zoli Tude, and again, is going to be using our Zoli Duos. We have the reverse swirl. And this is a really good explanation she has here about working with the Zoli duos, how they have the left and the right. Floor the Zoli. And then we get to section three is an S braid. And she said, S braid is a stitch I introduced in my first book, stitching with two whole beads. I love the simple classic look of pieces done here using rulers and super duos. So we've got <clears throat> the beautiful braid with super duos, the double up bracelet that uses rulers and super duos, cobblestone has two, two whole bricks and two whole tile beads. Graduated braid. This one's going to use two whole rollers, two whole tiles, and size 8 CVs. Then we've got the three dimensional collar that is going to use two whole tiles and four whole quadra tiles. Then the symmetry bracelet, again with our Zolis. And then we get into section four, which is I Raw internal right angle weave is simply a right angle weave that is created inside a block of two whole beads so we have sophisticated bars which uses three whole beams and two whole bar beads splendid singlet uses two whole bar beads delicate lariat two whole bars Pharaoh's gift again is going to use two whole bars and no three whole beams and two whole bricks along with super duos. So I was wrong on that one. Pharaoh's gift is going to use three whole beams. That's going to be these here and our super duo beads. And I really like this version of it as well. This one's really pretty. Ava's on parade uses three whole Ava beads and three whole beams. Clustered center is going to use three whole beams and super duos. Double and triple. This is going to mainly use a lot of two whole bars with size 11 C beads. Zigzag necklace uses our two whole bars. Again, geo, uh, geometry necklace. <laughs> I don't really know on this one. Uh, two whole tile beads, which are going to be here. Our two whole bar beads and then size 11s and 8s. Off center bracelet is going to use three whole beams and size 8 seed beads. Cab and cluster. So this is going to have three whole beams and two whole calves here. It looks like she's done a necklace version of it. And then in the back, you've got your gallery of designs and about the wonderful author who came up with all of those goodies. So that is your preview of the two whole bead stitching. And I did want to show you before um, I finish up the Tara Reed designs 
The SVG is called Love to Bead Jewelry Making SVG and Cut Files for Crafters. And again, you can find her on Etsy. So, I hope you enjoyed the sneak peek of all the projects from the new book, Two Whole Bead Stitching. Um, we do have this book for sale on my website, offthebeadedpathbeadstore.com. If we sell out, please check out your local bead store if you have one. Um, purchase from a bead retailer or, as always, you can purchase from Amazon. So, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you again next time. Bye-bye! Mm -hmm.